Hello guys, my name is Monix and I am here with a brand new video for you. Today I will try to do something different, uh, not the showcases as I usually do. But today I want to show you how to use config or how to create your own config and use your own bind in binds in game. I think this thing is really useful and I use it a lot. And it has been requested by one of you, my subscribers. so. I'm happy to do so. What do we want to do? We need to go to games, view games library, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, right click, and then go to properties, local files, uh, browse local files, and then it will open this, this thing. You want to go to CSGO, config, or like CFG folder and then you want to create uh, your new folder yeah of course and you can name it whatever you want to name it like for example your uh, config your config okay or my config whatever you want mine is here already created monix CFG Okay, so now we have my config. It's obviously nothing in there, but as you can see, I have something in my uh, folder already. So uh, when we created this folder, we need to open it and then create a text file, which means right here, uh, and uh, name it main dot cfg. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Then we need to make another CFG file. Oh, excuse me. Uh, of course, we want text document. Uh, name it binds or whatever you want. But I will name it binds dot CFG. Okay. Yes. Okay. And now we have two text files. Uh, here we will be writing all the binds that you want to use. Here you need to type exactly this, exec, uh, then you need to look here uh, and type here the name of your folder you created or earlier. So I will just write my config and I'm done. And then you need to write uh, this slash, like reverse slash. And then uh, uh, the name of the second CFG file you will have your binds in. So I suggest just naming it binds.cfg and writing binds.cfg here. Okay, so what this will do, it's gonna just uh, tell your main exec that you want to exec this folder as well. Okay, so you have this, uh, yeah, save, and now we have this file saved with this, that's everything what we need. And you need to do uh, one more thing, <laughs> uh, you need to create autoexec.cfg file, and there you need to write exactly this once again. Okay, welcome in the game, uh, if you don't know already, to enable the console, you will need to go to Options, Game Settings, and Enable Developer Console. Yes, you will have it uh, on No probably. So click Yes. And OK. Now you only need to click this key. Uh, right, uh, Exec. Auto Exec. And now I will move on to showing you the binds itself. How this works is if you type this, for example, you can write whatever you want and it won't do anything. So you can just type, I don't know. I want to show you by binds first. So I just write by binds and I can make it nicer with space here. Okay. And now it's the interesting part. part. You can bind almost everything to almost every key. You 
don't want to bind uh, anything on keys like uh, W, A, S, D because obviously uh, you are playing on those keys. Uh, the next thing you need to know is if you bind something on one key, uh, if you have something on that key binded before, uh, it will like no longer work. So if you, for example, buy something on E and you will then play competitive game and you will try to defuse a bomb, it won't work. So you will lose the round because of, uh, well, your stupidity or like binding binding uh, some kind of uh, things on E. So you need to left uh, W, A, S, D, E, uh, how they are. I suggest binding, not binding anything on R, R, because, well, you are reloading the gun, I think, with that, or at least I am. Uh, so yeah, let's start it with buy bind. These binds are really helpful uh, because at the beginning of the round you don't need to buy uh, those guns from that uh, round menu. You can just uh, press one button on your keyboard and it will buy your gun instantly. So if you do, uh, for example, bind, you need to type bind every time. Then you want to bind a key you want to press to buy something. So I will bind, for example, this and then I will write those and in between those I will bind buy and then whatever I want to buy uh, with that key I will bind on this key so I have uh, you can use everything uh, if you want to buy grenades uh, you can use flash flash bank uh, and if you want to buy multiple things on one key, you can also do that just by this. And then you do buy H E high explosive grenade. And then you can bind um, flesh bank. And why? Oh, I've forgotten. Yeah. I will give you all of those binds in the description, you can look it up. Uh, I will just copy some of those binds I have in my config. Yep, so like this. Uh, smoke grenade, flashbang, uh, high explosive grenade and incendiary grenade. Okay, next bind I found really useful is uh, bomb drop. We can call it bomb drop bind. Uh, I will show you in game uh, what this does, but it basically does that you drop the bomb and you will uh, get your primary weapon to your hand really fast. You cannot do it faster by dropping the bomb normal way and then trying to get to your primary gun. It's it really speed up the game. So the bind is uh, bind. Uh, whatever key you want so I use X X and then these guys use weapon C4 and then drop okay so like this it's all done now really interesting bind but basically it will show you in your left corner uh, after you die how much damage you did uh, to your mm, opponents and <laughs> teammates if you have done some uh, so that way you don't need to open the console every time you die uh, it's really simple bind bind I use you but you can use everything you want obviously Display. okay this bind, you can see it on the screen now. I think this one is really useful as well. Copy and paste basically all of this. Uh, yeah, and that will do, that will display all the damage you have done in the past or last round. I think these binds are the most uh, helpful and most uh, 
important to you but if you liked my uh, screenshots tutorial video or if you don't know how to do something i really suggest you uh, copying and pasting all of this sorry yeah all of this which i will give you in uh, the description as well and that way uh, if you changed if you change this uh, it will basically do the blurry effect uh, so you can use everything what you can i use t because i don't really use it uh, in game anyways and uh, this bind is really really helpful because it will basically uh, it will hide your heart you will be able to buy anywhere on the map uh, the round won't be resetting that often i think it's like one hour per round so it's really a lot uh, you can drop your knife which is right here you can buy anywhere that's yeah uh, yep 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 yeah it will kick all bots so this is basically all of my config so i think that's all for today i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to like and 